feels like not waking up She feels like she's in so deep That she'll never make it out All the mistakes that she made she just thinks about Probably the reason that she ain't been Hello guys, this is Dream VFX And today I will bring y'all another After Effects tutorial And this week's tutorial will be on the wave up effect The wave up effect is a wave effect Um, I'll play a video of it right now And that was a display of the effect It's kind of just just a cool effect, a simple effect that you can add to your edits or videos that you want to have it with. So, when you put it on adjustment layer, so we'll make one right now. And then, so we're going to get wave warp, and this is what it starts off to look like. But, you want it to have it where you want the wave warp to be, so I kind of want it right here to this beat right here. So, this edit I'm working on is a collab with one of my friends. So, I'll play the edit right now, and I'll show y'all what I'm kind of wanting. So this is like the uh, whole little three seconds or whatever I'm giving y'all. But I want it right here. And it's going to be like a, a biggest. I'm going to show y'all two ways to make a wave warp. So I want it right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my adjustment layer. Shorten it up to right here where I want it. Put the layer or the effect back on. What you're going to do is what you can do. Pinning, it doesn't really matter. You can pin it and you cannot if you don't want to. But I like to do it instead. So I do horizontal edges. This, I don't really know. I just put it on high because it might make a difference. I don't really know. Okay, so what I start off with is... So let's take off this layer real quick just so we can see what's going on. So I start usually maybe with maybe 190. 190, this is the first way. This is going to get like a bigger wave warp. Uh, and it's going to take up more. Well, it's just one way to do it. Let's just put it there. So uh, wave height, you're going to keyframe these two, wave width and wave height. So wave height, go ahead and maybe put it around 91 or 70. So practically you are 60 all the way maybe to a hundred for your wave width, wave height so in speed it doesn't really matter you can make it go a little faster and that might give it a little bit more of an effect so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way to where you want it to end and I don't want it to end here I want it to end about like right here what you're gonna do is get the wave width boost it up maybe 400 400 and then just make it zero wave height zero so now we're gonna render this out <laughs> And this is kind of a little rough preview of what it's going to look like. So we do that, do this, and here's go. It's kind of looking like this. Uh, I kind of don't like how it ends so abruptly like this. I mean, what we can do is we can change the speed back to one, and then change the way it looks. Like. And see, it will look kind of smoother. So you got that. Another way what you can do is say if you want it to like kind of fade out a little bit more, you can get the height and move it out a little bit uh, away from when the final uh, change of the width is. So it kind of looks like this. So it kind of lasts a little bit longer and just fades out. And I like that a little bit better than just having it go together like that. It looks better in my opinion, but you guys can do whatever y'all <clears throat> whatever y'all want. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is the second wave warp. So we're gonna delete this and put this back on. So what we're gonna do is go back to we're gonna start this one off maybe two hundred seventy four. Wave height, maybe 65. We'll do horizontal edges for this. Speed, I like this. have the speed for this one a little bit higher for one reason. When it's slow, it kind of doesn't look as good as what it would. So I'll probably just do this for. And then I'll do here. And then I'll boost this more, maybe 600. And then I'll have this go on a little bit. And then do zero. And if I did this right, sometimes I have to mess around with it, but this is what the Yeah. 
kind of messed up, so it kind of looks too fast. So what we're gonna do is change it to two. So that's kind of what we got here, but it's not totally what I want. So once I find the perfect settings, I'll come show y'all. So what I did, I was messing around with it, and then I changed it to point five, and this is what I got. I didn't change the settings. Actually, yeah, I did. For the width of it, I changed it to 226, and then I changed the speed to point five, and this is what you get. It's like a slow, but it, like it's just smoother. It's smoother than the first. It's like just smooth and just goes with it. So I like this. I'll probably use this for this edit too. Yeah, I might change it up a little bit, but this is what I got so far. So if y'all have any more questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below, and just mess around with some settings, and you'll get the hang of it, and you just you'll probably be able to make your own wave warp soon. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel for weekly tutorials. And I'll see y'all next time I make a tutorial, which might not be next week, but we'll see. See y'all next time.